Hey you guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. So one of the things that I always encourage people to do, whether they're starting out on this money journey or even if they're on baby step seven, is that you still have to be intentional with where your money's going. And there's certain parts of our money that I feel like we can kind of get lazy on at times. And it's like, oh, I'll finagle this category here and change this so we can do what we want. And then sometimes money is leaving your account and you don't even realize it. So whether it's subscriptions that you're not using or other things. So a few months ago, Winston and I were re-looking at all of our life insurance policies. And we're like, okay, we need to up probably some of it here and back down this thing, like kind of we were reorganizing. And Winston was like, let me just go and re-look at all of our insurances. Like, let me go back and get quotes again, double check everything. Anyways, when we did that, you guys, it came back that we were overpaying on certain things here and there and different stuff. And it was like this whole new thing of like, we don't have to pay as much that we thought we were. So, so much money came back into our budget. Now, that happened because of different life things going on, but also because we took the time to figure out, okay, where is our money going? And I just find for so many people, again, we were even guilty of it too, that things just, you just pay throughout the month and you go and you don't really look at every single line item. And there is something powerful when you look at every single line item. So for those of you that have never budgeted before, or you're thinking, oh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I am telling you, it is. Not just the control that you're gonna get over your money, the sense of permission to spend, but you're going to actually find money. Now, if you've never done this before, I want you to go back and look at the last three months in your bank account. So you can go online to your bank or if you have bank statements that were mailed to you, whatever. But go back and look and just add up, okay, on average, every month, here's what we spend at the grocery store. Here's what we spend going out to eat. Here's what we spend on gas. Here's what we're spending on clothes. Here's what we're spending on insurance. Here's what we're spending on mortgage or our rent. Like go and look to see, okay, on average, here's everything we're spending. And then the categories that you can take control over. Now rent, mortgage, some things are just locked in. But categories like clothing or food, those kind of things are categories that you can adjust. Even things like insurance, like I was talking about. So look at the things and say, okay, if we actually buckled down and actually said, okay, what if we did not spend as much every month and we lowered that dollar amount, how much money could we save? And here's the crazy thing. If you go through all the big categories in your budget or in your life and think through, okay, here's what we spent when we were not living on purpose. But if we actually were intentional and lived on purpose, here's really what we could spend, a lot less. And then figure out the savings between those numbers Add them up and I guarantee you it's going to blow your minds. On average, I'm finding that people are finding $2,000 in two weeks by just doing this. Now, that all might may have seemed very overwhelming, but that's why I have my 14-day money finder. So this is something you sign up for and every single day for 14 days, you're going to get an email with a video of me explaining how to do a small task, okay? So some of these tasks can be really small and they can feel insignificant. Others are gonna feel a little bit bigger, but all of this is to walk you through a plan to actually help you find money. Like I cannot stress enough how often it is that people just don't budget and they just are not intentional with their money and how much money is leaving your checking account because you don't have a plan. So this 14-day money finder is going to help you. I'll leave a link in the show notes for you to check it out. But I am, I am so big on this because when you're starting to say, okay, I wanna actually gain control of my money. I actually do wanna get out of debt. I actually want an emergency fund. I actually wanna start doing these steps and taking control of my money. It's things like this that give you a springboard to actually say, okay, no, I can do this. Like you actually can find money right now. It's an amazing thing. One of my friends said to me one time a few months ago, she was like, I don't know, I just don't wanna budget. I feel like I work too hard to just pinch every single dollar and know exactly where every single dollar is going. I just work too hard for that. I just want the freedom. And I was like, that is so funny. And in my head, I was like, because I think the complete opposite. I'm like, I feel like I work too hard to not know where every single dollar is going. Like if I'm gonna be leaving my kids and coming to work, paying for childcare, sitting in traffic, driving on the interstate, like doing all the stuff that I gotta do to get to work, like I want this to be worth it. Like when I get paid, I'm like, no, I want this to go as far as possible. And a budget does that, it does that. So again, if you are overwhelmed by the idea or you just wanna find $2,000 in two weeks, make sure to check out 
my money finder because it's gonna help you take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs>